What is going on people? It is your boy Daddy Mac and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle well, This time around we're bringing another team built around one of the Reggies this time around Reggie still you can probably Already factor in um, well you can already tell I'm trying to sound fancy, but you can already tell what Pokemon uh, we're going to be building around next for our next uh, couple Wi-Fi battles. So we got Reggie Steel. We just used the team against, uh, well, built around Reggie Alecki. The last Wi-Fi battle was intense. Also, this is the first official Wi-Fi battle after the year, so I am excited. Happy New Year, everybody. Um, so we are against Lux who's bringing a really cool team. We might have two Wi-Fi battles for this Wi-Fi battle. Um, I, I, I don't know um, But anyways, we got oh, I just need to I'm gonna start just random Pokemon really quick I'm gonna start just your boy sees uh, Scyther. I got my Swamper and my Scyther from a trade my I, I, my attention my intention was to um, literally breed these Pokemon and I completely spaced so this Swamper is five IVs, but it's missing the attack one So it's not that great, but it is good. The Scyther on the other hand is perfect um, All of these Pokemon I believe are in heavy balls. Um, so it's gonna be a good battle Lux is bringing a Cinderace a Gyarados a Mimikyu Toxtricity Eevee, which is a little bit weird and a Dialga, which is interesting. I like your lead card my friend. You have sponsors everywhere All right, so I decided to switch the music again from the Reggie because we overplayed that I feel like with the Reggie Drago and the Reggie Alecky kind of but we're, bring, we're, we're bringing Cinderace I did not want to see Cinderace up against my boy um, uh, Scyther Scyther that that Scyther thing was pretty cool um, when it when I popped it out But we're gonna just get out of here My intention was to bring in the Swampert and I kind of messed it up for us So we're just gonna have to lose a turn eat it up. Oh, well bring in the Swampert who's 100% defensive and we're gonna be able to take this like champs. So Yeah, we should be able to take this easy peasy and I got a feeling he's gonna switch out. So what I want to do is protect to scout first and then I kind of want to Stealth Rock next because he has a Gyarados, which is scary. Um, he just straight up withdraws, so I should have flip turned. Dialga comes out. A shiny, cool Dialga at that. So um, we kind of messed up. We messed up. And now my opponent, Lux, is bringing a, a really strong Pokemon, obviously, with Dialga. Um, we're just going to say no to the Stealth Rocks as much as I would like to bring him in. But this Dialga is really threatening. Um, so I don't think... Well, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Oh, this is scary. This is 100% scary. So I'm just going to Stealth Rock. If we go down against this Dialga, we go down. Flash Cannon, it's a special Dialga. So I could have brought in my girl. We take that all day. We could have brought in my girl, um, uh, Curse Cursola. Cursola, not Corsola. But <laughs> how was your guys' New Year? How was your guys' new year? Happy new year once again, everybody. Thankful for a, a whole year on YouTube with, um, well, at the time of recording, 69 subscribers. And hoping that we can get 70 with this video, because we've been getting a lot of subscribers lately. Um, well, more than what I'm averaging. So that's awesome. Thank you guys for subbing. And also, a roar of time. We avoid, we dodge. Okay. Burning Jealousy would be good. But, but... I don't think it's worth I don't think it's worth maybe it is okay we're just going to hit this thing with the shadow ball because it's stab we are a salt vest Corsola by the way or Cursola I keep messing it up I keep messing it up it's Cursola not Corsola okay so Mimikyu comes out which is actually very very good for us very very good so shadow ball is gonna break this thing's disguise and I've never seen Corsola, Corsola attack so the things popping out the, the, the corals that was kind of cool. Okay, so this thing is uh, now busted. Loses a little bit of HP. We should be able to knock it out with the Shadow Ball. Should I predict? Um, obviously Shadow Shadow Sneak is the thing. I don't think we can take a Shadow Sneak from this thing as much as I would love to. But at the same time, I kind of want to predict the Sword Sense and just Burling Jealousy. Like we're gonna play bold here. Shadow Ball. Oh, so we're taking this. Two Wi-Fi battles, my boys. Look at this. We tanking it. Okay. Burning Jealousy, I thought he was going to hit me with the uh, Swords Dance or something like that, so I was going to say, get out of here. Okay, 
we get drain here we just we just uh bring our, our health back to what it was so yeah um uh i have nothing to talk about right now unfortunately <laughs> i i had I, I had something in mind oh burning jealousy would be awesome right there and he's bringing the double team which is a little bit unfortunate for me you could drain misses oh it hits and this mimic goes down you should have just double teamed my boy should have just double teamed oh that's right i was gonna say make sure i don't know if i want to upload it to youtube yet but i got a facebook page and uh, i have not uploaded onto my facebook page in a while but i thought this would be fun for all my friends from facebook to see but um i did a playthrough of um what's this game called of uh, family feud this game was really fun i had a lot of fun playing that game you guys should check it out if you haven't already go down in the description you'll see my social media links there and uh, um you should be able to see the playthrough that we had it's just one episode and i'm only doing this once i should have burning jealousy here um but as i was saying before i was rudely interrupted by a dragon dancing gyarados check it out because i had a lot of fun i have too much fun with that boom idk does not um he, he doesn't care with the k i'm gonna predict some kind of uh attack here and uh, obviously a physical attack that's why i'm going to swamper because we're rocky helmet fully defensive swamper okay crunch you should be able to go down we're taking this that's what i'm talking about i'm not a big fan of that defensive drop but idk i don't care or I don't know. We're gonna call it I don't care because it's straight up with a dragon dance. Um, even though I showed him burning jealousy, I don't care. Just goes down, lowers my defense, and it just doesn't care about anything. My my swamper. I don't know how to say it in Japanese, but my swamper's coming in clutch. Shiny EB. That is awesome. Okay. Um. Honestly, we're just gonna flip turn out of here. This is probably gonna Gigantamax into a, a fluffy EV. This is my guess a shiny fluffy eevee that would be cool and he is <laughs> call me hoopa do you guys remember that one the audio quality was terrible and i apologize about that i apologize about the terrible quality that my audio had on my first videos i love that shiny eevee cry that was that was beautiful all right it's gonna hit us with the quake we should be able to take this unless it's special i think it's physical because it's dig we're tanking it summons up the sandstorm which i'm not a fan of um honestly honestly i am a fan of the scrafty i am a fan of the scrafty we haven't used our boy registill quite yet so we're just gonna go out into the scyther my boy Scyther, my boy, comes out. And we're just gonna dual wing beat or sword dance. Sword dance would be awesome. Dual wing beat, sword dance. So, what do we got to fear? Cinderace. Cinderace is a Pokemon to fear. Um, it outspeeds me greatly, but we're gonna go ahead and sword dance no matter what. So, Scyther sword dancing in the face of a giant Eevee because it just does not care. It does not care what you gotta say, it doesn't care what you gotta think max cuddle so now i'm gonna be immobilized by love because it's so cute okay so i wasn't gonna take that as as well as i thought i would oh we're both the same gender so that that's not gonna matter to me my boy go wing beat does have a chance to miss so i'm just gonna x scissor it should knock out this eevee from here i think we're jolly nature jolly no adamant i think we're adamant nature and we make the shiny flip ball boom <laughs> i'm wearing headphones and that that cry was not appealing it's just like, Evoy, Evoy, Evoy what? Cinderace comes out, which is the Pokemon I did fear originally. And we're just going to let Scyther go down and hit a quick attack. I think that's a good play, right? Quick attack. We're technician boosted, so come on. At least I think we're technician boosted. I, I got this Pokemon from a trade, so I don't know a whole lot. Pyro Ball, miss. We're going to quick attack one more time. And then we're going to bring in the Swampert and just flip turn out of there. Boom. Imagine it's a crit. It's not a crit, but it's a high roll. Okay. That's the first time I've seen the Pyro Ball actually miss, though. I think. I think. All right. So, Scyther goes down, unfortunately. It didn't do a whole lot of, a whole lot that I thought it would do. But now we're going to go into your boy Swampert. If you want to hit me with um, the Flame Ball, the Pyro Ball, I think we should be able to take one. I think. I think. 
Um, and even if we don't, um, we're just gonna Earthquake. We don't got a Gyarados to feel anymore. Double kick. Wow, double kick. I haven't seen that in a while. And you just knock yourself out. <laughs> that was funny. Why would you go double kick after seeing I'm Rocky Helmet? You literally just knocked yourself out. I love Swampert. Swampert's an overused Pokemon in this generation. That is crazy to me. Last generation, well, I don't know. I'm, I didn't play competitive that much, if at all, for Generation 7. But in Generation 6, this thing was UU. You, you. UU. You, or are you? I don't even remember. Mega Swampert was a force to be reckoned with, though, especially in the rain. All right, Earthquake. Dialga's gonna go down, and we're at 10 minutes for this battle, so I kind of want to do one more. Aurora Time is gonna knock us out, unfortunately. And it does have to recharge, so that means we're gonna go Scrafty Dragon Dance, and Scrafty's gonna get the knockout. So, here comes the Scrafty. Scrafty's just for free. Okay. Dragon Dance Close Combat is gonna make my opponent's Dialga cry. <laughs> I promise you it's gonna go back into the other dimension that it came from You're gonna go back to space and you're gonna cry because we're about to hit you with this close combat and we're moxie boosted Moxie boosted. Oh my goodness Come on. You're going down easily There you go It's I'm telling you scrafty is a force to be reckoned with and at the same time we're moxie boosted so you know what that means? We're gonna get a plus one in attack right here, my boys, and Scrafty's just gonna take it for us. Scrafty's not a fast Pokemon, but it does hit like a truck, if you allow it to set up. I've seen some really cool subsets. Toxicity comes out. We should be able to knock this thing out. It does resist our fighting type attack, unfortunately. But I got the Throat Chop to hit it with. It's that. We're plus two. We outspeed it. I know that for a fact. Unless it's Scarf, which it's not. Boom. And it it lives oh he was gonna go for the overdrive this is why i ran throat chop instead of crunch on my scrafty that mattered that mattered good game La uh, i think his name was lax or something like that lux lux it was that was his name boom we just chop trucks to these vocal cords and that's gonna be the game for battle number one we're gonna go on into a battle number two so don't leave that we we also updated our lead card by the way for new year so happy new year i'll be right back so we found another opponent who's eric bringing a suicune to the table i've never battled against a suicune by the way i almost forgot to tell you my pokemon set so we got registeel with the leftovers we got curse on it um actually i don't think we got curse on this registeel i don't remember let me see so with this registeel yeah we got curse body press rest and heavy slam so this is gonna be a really good Registeel. We got Scrafty, which you guys just saw with the Lumberry. We got Nidoking with the Life Orb, it is Sheer Forest, so that's gonna be a really good Pokemon. It's OU in this generation, that makes my heart happy. We got Cursola with the Assault Vest, and you guys saw how well it can take these special attacks. So we also got Swampert uh, with the Rocky Helmet, and we also got the Scyther with the Eviolite. Now, Pokemon he's probably gonna start with, I'm gonna say right off the bat, probably Grimmsnarl. If you want to start with the Dito at the Ditto, um, so be it. So be it. I kind of want to start Registeel actually with the um, with the Imp Pokemon, because Registeel also blocks a lot of his team, including the Togekiss, including the um, Azumarill, I think to an extent. Unless it has Superpower, then we're really in trouble. But Registeel is actually a really good Pokemon against my opponent's team, and it's including the Tyrantrum actually. So. It's going to be a good battle. Eric the villain. I think any po any trainer that has like that eyepiece, they remind me of a Pokemon villain. I don't know why, they just kind of do. All right, we changed the music up a little bit to a little bit more intense one, so hopefully this battle will be a little bit better. We got Azumi the Azumarill. Probably packing the, um, what's the attack called? Superpower, unfortunately. So, that does scare me a little bit. I really hope it doesn't belly drum. But we're just gonna heavy slam because belly drum azumi can be a little bit intimidating i don't care what anybody says if you stay against uh, there you go that what am i saying i told you i told you now this azumi is gonna do a, too much damage to us okay so heavy slam hopefully it knocks it out i don't think so because we're not invested in any attack i didn't think so and it pops its berry we're in big trouble ladies and gents we're in really big trouble and um Registeel is a very useful Pokemon to me. 
So I do not want to let it go down. I think we let Swamper go down early, unfortunately. But I really want to try to get some Rocky Helmet damage against this Izumi, so... Because I go, I go into my Swamper, let it get down with the Rocky Helmet damage, go into Scyther... Oh, Brick Break. We should... We, we might take this. Barely, but we take it. Okay, I don't think I outspeed, unfortunately, but... We got Self Rock. We got Self Rock. We got to set up these rocks if we can. All right, Aqua Jet, boom. We are not taking that, obviously. Scyther's gonna come in and knock this thing out. Scyther's gonna come in, knock this thing out with the quick attack. And we just got rid of one of the biggest threats in this team. So it's 1-1. One, one. one of the Bologna gym, Bologna, as I like to call it. And we're just gonna quick attack. I didn't see his lead card. I don't remember, I, 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 I was, it had the like black cover on it. Okay, Azumi goes down which was one of the biggest threats in the scene. And now it's not a threat. It's not a threat. Unfortunately though, the Togekiss comes out and it might threaten us with the Dynamax. I don't have a Pokemon that resists the Dynamax, so we're just gonna try to Swords Dance. We're gonna try. I don't think we're taking an attack from this thing. He has the Air Splash, so we're no way we're taking an attack. Please over predict. Ancient Power. We are not taking this so well. Ma, we take it though. We're Eviolite, so. Okay. Dual Wing B. I cannot remember for the life of me if this is a technician uh, Scyther. I don't think it is. I really doubt that it is. Dual Wing B. We attack. And um, unfortunately, it's not a two hit KO. I'm starting to think it's not technician because I'm pretty sure we would have knocked out. Okay. It's ancient Power again. That's perfectly fine. What's a Pokemon I can bring in? And it got all the stats boosts. Wow! Okay. We're in trouble a little bit, because now this Togekiss is really fast Togekiss. And we got... This is our only priority user. What'd you get? Leftovers? I think that's leftovers. Yup. Okay, so were you... You weren't Technician. That's why I missed the KO. Okay. That's fine. That's 100% fine. Um, I kind of want to bring in the rest of still, but kind of not. Ursula would be good because... Like I mentioned, we're Assault Vest. We should be able to take an attack from this uh, Togekiss, an attack or two. Look at beautiful little Egg. That's gonna be its nickname in here for it, Egg. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hit this thing with a Shadow Ball. It should knock it out. Substitute, interesting. Okay, I was not expecting that. What's in the Substitute? Shadow Ball's gonna knock it out for sure. I think, I think um, that attack Power Gem doesn't have high accuracy. I can be wrong. Let me let me double check. Okay, so I don't know why you went substitute because now you don't have another. Uh, you don't have enough left for another one, and we're just we're just gonna hit you with the power gem. We're just gonna reveal it. Reveal it, air slash. Please do not flinch me. Please. I hate this. I hate this. I had a feeling I was going to flinch too, which is the sad part. Okay, Shadow Ball. We took that relatively okay, so come on. Don't. No, don't. Don't. Bad. Flinched again. That's not good. What was this? What the? Okay. This uh, Togekiss is going to knock out our Cursola. Single-handedly. Single-handed. Handedly. Handedly, my English is terrible sometimes. Okay. He has the option to go for... I really don't think it's worth going for the substitute. Ancient power. Okay. You're not knocking this out, so I don't know why you went for that. You should have just taken the opportunity to make us flinch again. Because depending on what you go into, we might be able to knock it out. Or we may be able to get a significant amount of health back with the um, with the Giga Drain. I'm hoping you go, you go Tyrantrum. Obviously, probably won't go Tyrant. I'm going to go Grim Snarl. Okay. That's not what I was hoping for, but that's what we got. I cannot remember if this is... It is Parish Body. That's kind of good for us. Um, Burning Jealousy? I mean, just in case this thing wants to set up a bulk up or something. Thunder Wave. Okay, it's a good thing I didn't switch out into anything. Now, Corsola is kind of worthless to me, unfortunately. Burning Jealousy. Here we go. I thought I was gonna set up a bulk up or something, but it did not obviously. Okay, 
we're gonna giga drain just to get a little bit of health back i obviously do not want to stay in against this thing for a very long time because tyrantrum with the screens that's really threatening to me all right giga drain not gonna do anything unfortunately but i will take a little bit of recovery over no recovery okay we're gonna take a little bit more giga drains um after this reflect okay there you go i predict you like no other and you probably have um i don't know what attack scrims normals typically run for uh the final move i do not recall i think it's a dark type move for sure that's what i'm thinking at least i hope it's not a fairy type because i really want to switch into my my little scrafty here but i'm not i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna go into registeel set up a couple curses and i think we'll be okay for the most part for the most part spirit break so that's the fairy type attack right nope not doing anything to us i'm sorry but you ain't doing nothing to us spirit break is the attack that never misses i think i think all right i'm gonna curse here we're gonna set up some curses with the registeel and get a little bit of a sweep going here go sweep this thing oh my goodness i'm really excited to use body press with this I really wish its hidden ability was heavy metal instead of light metal. It doesn't really make sense why it would be light metal. Like, come on. Come on, Registeel. You gotta be heavier than, than light. Okay. That's fine because, you know what? I got the rest. I can rest off the Thunder Wave. That is cool with me. That is cool with me. And what's the... I, I, oh, that's right, Leftovers. I almost forgot what item I was running. There you go. There you go. If you want to hit me with a T-Wave, feel free by all means. We should be able to if we, the more curses we set up the better off we'll be the better off withdraws grimstar i'm gonna go for one more and tyrantrum comes out my boy you have no clue that i'm running the body press for you no clue this is a plus two so i'm assuming we're gonna knock it out because we have high defense now and our attack is pretty high also so if you want to hit me with the dragon dance I'm gonna make you cry back to your tyrant. I'm gonna make your tyrants. I'm gonna prove tyrant that tyrant's daddy is nothing but a little T Wex. Withdraws. Okay. That's cool. Sweekum comes out. I wonder why he double switch like that. Was he trying to force the switch? I'm not fearing anything, so. I don't know what you were trying to do, my friend. I am not sure. Um, I'm gonna have you. Oh, it's not very effective. I was better off with body press. Calm mind. Calm mind. I don't think Suicune gets recovered, though. I do not think it gets recovered. Uh oh. Calm mind Suicune. That sounds really scary to me. Boom. No, no that does nothing. We, we wait the same. Legendary Pokemon are typically heavy. Come on. Um. I don't think Middle Queen out speeds, unfortunately. Yeah, and it just got a plus whatever in. Um, and that that attacks that so or it's special it's special attack special defense there you go call mine again i was way better off going for another another body press i was way better off going for that what are you running that i might be scared of what am i afraid of oh your freckless still up does that mean i curse does that mean i curse Gold that's fine i don't think it's gonna knock us out right that's a three hit ko that's a three hit ko that's fine we'll knock it out once this reflect wears off i'm pretty confident i'm 100 confident about that then in addition to that we can rest right after we knock it out so we're, we're gucci we're gucci we're gucci we're gucci okay don't stress about anything reflect wears off now the sweet coon is very vulnerable body press is gonna knock it out i know that i know that you dynamax you're dynamaxing well i guess we're playing the dynamax battle folks we play the dynamax battle he got the tyrantrum in the back he got the groom snarl with prankster which is gonna be really threatening to i could have gone to scraggy or scrafty i could have gone to scrafty and uh did some damage okay what are you going for max geyser that's gonna hurt like a banshee please don't knock us out we live on five how i have no idea I'm just hoping that that this body press knocks it out. Come on. We have high attack. We, we don't knock it out. What's Suicune's base speed, though? Let me try to search it real quick. Suicune's base speed. 
Sui Kun base speed is 85. So you already outspeed a lot of my team. Max Geyser. I'm surprised that body press didn't knock out. I am very surprised about that. Okay. What's Nido King speed? I think it's 80. I think it's 80. Nido King is 80. It has to be Nido. Nido King. Not Nido Arena. Nido King. Okay. 85. It's a speed tie. Do I want to risk a speed tie? What's Scrafty? I think Scrafty is lower than that, though. Scrafty. Oh, messed up. Scrap. Why do I keep putting a crafty? Scraft. Scrafty. There you go. It's a 58. We're way slower than it. No way we're going into that. Okay. Nido King it is. And it's gonna this battle is gonna come down to a speed tie, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um He still has a lot of threatening Pokemon, unfortunately. Thunderbolt it is. We've got a Thunderbolt here. Max Guard, that's perfectly fine. That is 100% fine. Okay. Gives him another chance to speed tie. We speed tying it up right here. Whatever. Is that a shiny Suicune? I don't remember if seeing the sparkles. I outspeed! Oh, my boys. That mattered a little bit. That mattered a little bit. Suicune faints. What other Pokemon does he have that are really scary to me? Grim Snarl comes out, which can probably set up the reflect. It can, it can definitely set up the reflect. So you know what? We Sludge Wave here. Light screen, it is. That's fine. I don't have a choice but to go into, um, just you know, stay into, into Nido King and Sludge Wave it up. It should knock out. Okay, it does. Now, Tyrantrum is a threat. Big, big threat. Big, big, big threat, actually. I don't know what to do against the Tyrantrum. Uh, this battle. This is a good battle. This is a really good battle. Dito comes out. I know I know it's kind of cringeworthy that I say Dito like that, but Dito comes out. I saw this video. I don't remember whose it was. And um, if you know whose it is, give him a shout out. But Dito came out. Um, I'm going to curse a lot here. I'm gonna Corsola. I'm gonna Corsola, actually. But this guy said Dito in the video, and it kind of just stuck to me. I know that's not how you pronounce it, though, but still. Okay, what do you want to go for? Earth Power? I should be able to take that. Yeah, we're taking that. We're taking that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Unfortunately, we do not outspeed here. But I think we Giga Drain. We have to Giga Drain. Earth power again, it's gonna knock us out. I just didn't want Needle King to take to take any damage. That's why I switched into the girl Corsula. So now we got Scrafty. Scrafty Needle King. I think we go Scrafty. <coughs> Sorry about that. My throat's kinda dry. I need to drink some water. Okay. If we dragon dance, we can actually take it. It's two on two right now. We're dragon dancing it up. If you want to switch, you get out of here. Earth power. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. This Dito is going to outspeed me. I threw the game away. I think I threw it away. Oh, no. I messed it up for myself. I definitely messed it up for us. We Dynamax. We Dynamax. Ah, uh, we Dynamax. And it's not looking good because this is a scarf ditto. Uh, the only way I would have won is if I just went for the ice punch straight up. Because we don't have max candies on these things. Earth power is going to knock us out. We live. Okay, we're good with that. Max Hellstorm. We're going to get a moxie boost off of this. This should knock out. This should knock out. There you go. Oh. Tyrantrum versus Scrafty and Nido King. Unfortunately, we're gonna get pelt. Pelt? Pelted. Pelt. What is the word again? Come on. Buffed. We're gonna get buffed by the hail. Okay, come on. We should live one. 
15. We're perfectly fine. Okay. Okay, Rantrum comes out. And we straight up... I, I, well, sometimes I wish I had the Drain Punch, but we don't. We're going to straight up Max Knuckle here. And I need to sneeze. <laughs> That's how nervous I am. Max Knuckle should knock it out. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. We won. I don't know how we won. I have no idea how we won. That was not my best performance, but we won. Eric, thanks for that Wi-Fi battle. Amazing Wi-Fi ba wi battle. Good job. Your team was amazing. Also, taking your lead card. Subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and still Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy, Daddy Max, signing off. Leave a like if you enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle and you enjoyed the boy Scrafty. Subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>